do you believe this will be one of the most important, if not the most important, economic decisions you'll make in the remainder of your presidency? It is definitely one of the most important economic decisions that I'll make in the remainder of my presidency. Uh, the Federal Reserve Chairman uh, is not just one of the most important economic policy makers in America. It's he, he or she is one of the most important uh, policy makers in the world. And uh, that person presumably will stay on after I'm president. So uh, this, along with Supreme Court appointments, is probably as important a decision as I make as president. Uh, I have a range of outstanding candidates. You've mentioned two of them, Mr. Summers and Mr. Yellen, uh, Ms. Yellen. And uh, they're both terrific people. Uh, I think the, uh, the perception that Mr. Summers might have an inside track simply had to do with a bunch of attacks that I was hearing on Mr. Summers preemptively, which is sort of a standard Washington exercise, uh, that I don't like. Uh, because when somebody's worked hard for me and worked hard on behalf of the American people, uh, and I know the, uh, the quality of those people, and I see them getting slapped around in the press uh, for no reason before they've even been nominated for anything, uh, then I want to make sure that somebody's standing up for them. I felt the same way when people were attacking Susan Rice before she was nominated for anything. So, uh, you know, I tend to defend folks who I think have done a good job and don't deserve attacks. Uh, but I consider them both outstanding candidates. My main criteria, I, I've stated this before, but I want to repeat it. My main criteria for the Fed Reserve uh, Chairman is somebody who understands they've got a dual mandate. A critical part of the job is making sure that uh, we keep inflation in check, that our monetary policy is sound, that the dollar is sound. Those are all critical components uh, of the job. And we've seen what happens when the Fed's not paying attention. Uh, you know, we saw prior to Paul Volcker coming uh, into place, inflation shooting up uh, in ways that really damage the real economy. But the other mandate is full employment. And right now, you know, if you look at the biggest challenges we have, the challenge is not inflation. The challenge is we've still got too many people out of work, too many long-term unemployed, too much slack in, in, in the economy, and we're not growing as fast as we, we should. And so I want a Fed uh, chairman who's able to look at those uh, issues and have a perspective that keeps an eye on inflation, make sure that we're not seeing artificial bubbles in place, but also recognize that, you know what, a big part of my job right now is to make sure the economy is growing quickly and robustly and uh, is sustained uh, and durable so that people who work hard in this country are able to find a job. And I, frankly, I think both Larry Summers and Janet Yellen uh, are highly qualified candidates. There are a couple other candidates who are highly qualified as well. I'll make the decision in, uh, in the fall.